Hi! I hope that you are well and taking really good care of yourself. I wanted to jump in here and kind of share with you what I've been exploring and discovering over the past, I would say about six weeks. And it started with myself and now I'm kind of um, testing the waters with some of my singing clients and finding that they're having equally as exciting experiences as I am with this. So I've been talking about the difference between singing in your head and thinking about technique and then singing from your emotions for a while. Um, and I believe that we start with the technique, we teach our body these more efficient, safe, um, and also interesting ways of using our voices so that we have that knowledge and then we embed that in the body. Once we feel like our body now knows this, knows this new language, the, the way to get to the emotions often is to be messy and expressive, to sort of start to build that self-trust with our voices. And then we can drop more into our heart space and sing from emotion rather than thinking our way through it. And I've done a video singing, both thinking about the technique and then from the heart, um, which you can find here somewhere. But I found another deeper layer. And this is really exciting for me. Um, it's definitely more full body even than singing from my emotions. It feels much more vulnerable, um, but much more beautiful and artistic and embodied. So it's come out of my embodiment work and practices that I've been doing for a number of months now. Okay, so I am going to do my best to do three takes of a section of a song. Um, first from technique, so really thinking about the way that I am doing it. Um, the second from my emotions, so tapping into an emotion that I really experience, so something that is true for me but works for the song, and then trying to drop into this deeper, more embodied um, space or state. So technique first. I don't know where I belong, but I'll be moving on. If you don't, if you won't, please Okay. Emotion. I don't know where I belong, but I'll be moving on. If you don't, if you won't, listen. And you'll notice that dropping into the emotion takes a little bit. <laughs> we can't just kind of press a button, or well, at least I can't just yet. It takes me a little bit to get into it. So same with dropping into my body, opening up. <sighs> I don't know where I belong, but I'll be moving on. If you don't, if you Something a little bit more, bit more upbeat, maybe. Ta -ta. We'll try a little bit of Aretha technique first. Watch it. <laughs> what you want, baby? I got it. What you need, you know I got it. Heart space. What 
you want, baby, I got it. What you need, you know I got it. Embodied. What you want, baby, I got it. What you need, you know I got it. And let's try something a little bit less in your face. Um, what I have noticed is that the more that I deepen into like the kind of layers is the way that I feel it in my body, the more access I have to resonance and um, different colors and depth of sound, uh, including like power and volume. And you might have noticed that already. We'll do something a little bit more delicate now. Technique first. Set me free, leave me be. I don't want to fall another moment into your gravity. Set me free. I don't want to fall another moment into your gravity. Full body. Set me free. Leave me be. I don't want to fall another moment into your gravity. So, yeah, let me know if you can hear the difference. I feel the difference. It feels like my, my voice starts or leads from a really different place. And I think that we need to do it in stages, as I said. So once we've really touched into our emotions, which can be a really challenging thing to do, I think I just want to point that out, that... We need to do uh, a lot of our own healing. Um, we need to feel compassionate towards ourselves. We need to own so many different parts of ourselves in order to um, be able to express from the heart. And it feels really vulnerable and it feels really scary. And so trying to test the waters with emotions in a space um, or with, you know, uh, a, a person or a coach or a friend that you feel safe um, is a really important step. We can't just kind of usually go out in front of a, a crowd of people and go, I'm just going to be really authentic and emotional and vulnerable and be okay with that. So that it, it takes time. Once we've kind of been able to tap into that, I think the, the deeper layer of that is a real ownership of our artistry. And I found that I really needed to more deeply connect with my body. So many of us are disembodied, are disconnected from our bodies, even though we are singers and even though our body is our instrument. We still have areas of the body that we carry tension. We still have areas of the body that we like kind of put in the corner, you know, we don't want to acknowledge, we demonize in some way. Um, we can feel sensation in the body and shut that down. And so that's been my process and my exploration over the last few months is really starting to come into relationship and wholeness with my body in a number of different ways and different practices and then finding that same space and connection from which to sing from and so for me it feels like it is actually deeper in my body like it almost is that if the uh, the voice starts from here with emotion but it starts from more in my pelvis when I am in this really embodied state and Sometimes it feels elusive and sometimes I can't hold on to it um, for a, you know, a whole song or a whole section. But yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. It's pretty magical actually to experience that as a singer. Um, and I think this is where 
our yeah, deep ownership of our artistry and our gifts is lying. And so I'm really excited to bring more of this to you. I'm going to create a, a program around this because I think it's so valuable and so important. And yeah, let me know if you've got any questions or if you have experienced anything like I'm talking about or it's something that you want to taste or want to grasp onto. All right. I hope that you are really, really well. Let me know how you're going in the comments and I'll see you again soon.